Peter. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. And I'd like to focus with you on the, the final part of the program, so the, the third module, which is the qualifying module, uh, the supervision accreditation process. What do you remember? It's now a good year later, I think. Anything stands out for you if you look back on your experience with that? Well, I suppose it, it almost is useful to go back to module one, where Robin was highlighting that we'd already passed. Yes. So the, the framing essentially carried through the, the, the preceding two modules to module three. Because for all of us, um, accreditation is a scary kind of process because yeah. we're always carrying the am I worthy? We've seen brilliant tutors, we've seen brilliant peers as well, and we always do the self comparison of, well, where, where am I relative? So we're, for me, personally, there was that fear, that anxiety, what do I do? Because you want to look good. But then from the tutor kind of perspective, you and, and David and Charlotte and, and uh, Robin and so forth, were highlighting the importance of the learning benefit. And in many ways, when something goes wrong, that's the critical instant, that's the critical moment where learning can, can happen. Yeah. So your ability to hold us in the discomfort of the, oh, we're getting accredited, it's, it's all yes. the exam, it's all a bit scary, and, and notice it and park it and attend really to the, doing some valuable, meaningful work in that accreditation um, supervision uh, process mm -hmm. was really powerful. Um, but it was still scary. Yes, and that discomfort, I think, extends to us as well. I mean, it's scary for us too, because uh, we don't want to go, to go back into a kind of a fearful moment where we're all, you know, being very cautious and uh, scared of the outcome and more focused on that, on what can, can go wrong uh, and, and, and not really benefit from a full experience of where we are as supervisors. So it's scary for us too. Yeah. And that's the lovely thing all the way through. It's about noticing that we all have those emotions and that connects us yeah. rather than creates distance between us regardless of our experience and the same thing for the peers on the program. And did that work out for you? Did that feel in that way or was that, did that come in once you had the relief of actually, actually passing? Uh, how, how, did, how did that go for you? We were, as a peer group, we were doing peer supervision throughout the, the yeah. journey, and we yeah. continue to do it even though we've oh. left the programme and it, we're oh, years too. on. So um, as a peer group, I remember us talking about, well, how are we going to approach it, you know, what's going on, and we actually used the apprehension as our supervision topic and spoke about our individual apprehension and anxieties. Yeah. And that helped really flush it out. Um, so it was still present, but it wasn't gripping us. And um, we almost kind of unified together in a, a them and us sort of way in terms of as peers, it doesn't matter what happens. We're going to all learn from it. We're going to continue our learning from it regardless of where the Ashridge process takes us. And that, that gave us a, a, you know, power, actually, the accreditation process. Well, that's power embodied, isn't it, in terms of the ability to deny progression um, or to, to um, you know, have that ritual of the, the passing out kind of uh, process. Yeah. So working as a peer group, we were able to surface that, that dynamic yes. and take ownership of our own um, autonomy and agency in that process. So that was well done. good material, right? So, so many things happening in the background that I'm not aware of. <laughs> yeah, well, really well done, yeah. So um, what about module three? Have you got any... In comments, thoughts about that in hindsight? In hindsight, I wonder, I had not expected to learn as much from that as I did. Um, writing the, the, the whole portfolio in particular, I got a lot more out of that than I had expected. I thought it was a writing job, you know, accounting for what I had done with, with my own supervision and learning. But actually, um, the questions were Great, and I also had input to help me think about it from one or two others uh, from my cohort. So it really enabled me to think differently about it, and it was a process that I'm glad I didn't rush. I had expected to be able to do it quite quickly. I was under a bit of time pressure, but I gave it the time it needed, and I got such a lot from it. 
And the assessment for me because of COVID was virtual. And that was a really brilliant experience. It was, we had done enough Zoom by then, I think anybody in the world would have done enough Zoom that it wasn't, it wasn't the, the, the way of doing it as such wasn't, wasn't scary. And it was a comfortable process. It, uh, it worked really well. And there was, as much as I would have liked to come to Ashridge, it was also fine to do it from home for my living room. The person I worked with, it felt like a really, um, a really intimate experience uh, where it was just us. And I felt such a strong connection with, with the person I was working with. And, and I was pleased that we were able to do work that I have later been told was really, really useful for her. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed doing the portfolio. And actually, I remember reading your portfolio too. It was a, a good read. Um, but that's what, it, that's what it's intended to be, to yeah. help, help us think and yeah. reflect and put into words. What about uh, Module 3, the accreditation process? Have you got any reflections on that? Yes, so the accreditation process for me, because of COVID, uh, our accreditation was a little bit delayed and was completely virtual. Um, but we, actually for me, there was a lot of um, gr working in groups, so using the um, ADOS colleague uh, to prepare for Module 3. And uh, actually, a, a group of us met on a weekly basis at some point to prepare mm. for Module 3. Uh, and, and we supervised each other, we practiced. So one of the model we, we used was the 7i model, which is uh, something in, in Module 3 um, as part of certification is very much the focus uh, of, the super, of, of the certification. So we, we met and, and really practiced um, some of the modes uh, and as supervisor, but also as coach bringing something to supervision. So I, I really found the preparation to the one day certification um, a very insightful journey for me. And I learned a lot from my colleague, uh, which meant that when it came to the day, to the, to the certification, it was, it, it felt very natural. So there, there wasn't a lot of pressure. And, and actually that I, what I would say about Ashridge, uh, for me uh, doing the supervision course at Ashridge was, you know, it, it was a little bit like having found an oasis in the middle of the wood. And as a, a coach and supervisor, I, I come to that wonderful oasis to recharge and to re-energize and to learn. Uh, but there was never a sense for me of competition or, you know, I'm, I'm coming here to study. So, so, and the certification was, was the same. And, and in fact, I remember as part of my certification, as part of one of the exercise, I took a, a lot of risk with a metaphor um, about an octopus. I and you, you were <laughs> in. And, and, and I remember thinking, you know, can I do this? You know, this is a bit risky, but can I do this? And, and I went for it. And, you know, people were, ooh. You know, and I myself, I was, ooh, you know, this is very daring. Um, but actually, uh, by trying this out in the context of certification, I learned a lot uh, and I passed, actually. You did um, indeed. I did. Uh, but, but there was, so, so for me, it was more about uh, a space to try out things with a group of colleagues and friends, actually. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. Mm. Yeah. You're pointing to uh, what I think is one of the key things about coming to Ashridge is that the, the networking, the meeting peers and making friends and the wealth of knowledge and experience yes. in a group of people. Yes, and, and for me that was one of the reasons actually to um, do a, a piece of development uh, as part of a group, because as a coach, 
Um, so I've got my, and, and at the time when I, when I uh, started at um, Ashridge, I had my own practice and that's what I was doing full time. And as an executive coach and supervisor, it can be a bit lonely. Mm. So as part of um, my development, I really wanted to focus on creating a community around me of like-minded people. And, you know, I found it at Ashridge. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Mm. I know that we make a point in the very first workshop of mm. saying, you know, you are now qualified and experienced. Mm. We're colleagues. It's not that we know stuff and you don't. Mm. Um, let's share what we know. I remember thinking, yeah, I don't really believe that. And I'm actually here to learn. So if I didn't need to learn, I wouldn't be here. You've got something I haven't got. Therefore, I want to hear what you've got to say kind of thing. Fair enough. But as subsequently, I have understood much, much better where faculty was coming from on that. I understand what you mean. And it's not impossible for people to be equals, to be peers, to be very respectful of each other and working together on something while one party knows something the other person does not. It is a kind of a paradox, isn't it, for us to say, you will pass or you have already passed, even though at the very end, more than a year later, it's still an open-ended process and you still need to see all the different submissions, the normative supervision report, uh, the action review cycles, all the things that you need to make up your mind as an accreditor. What do we now think about this particular supervisor? And uh, so it's not, we say you passed, we want to pass you, but it's not a hundred percent thing. So it remains kind of a double bind, which is mostly kind of holding us uh, in, in suspense, I think, even more than you. Well, there's, there's a real journey of um, everything that's being learned is about how it's being processed and how it's integrated. Because as we go through, we unlearn a whole load of stuff. We learn new, new yes. elements. We discover more about ourselves and others as we go through it. But it, it all has to settle. Um, and in the accreditation uh, process, we all want to show that integrated position. And the yeah. reality is some of it is and some of it isn't. So and some of it comes in the years after the program. Yeah. And so we have our two day workshop on, on ethical maturity, which, which comes well in advance of accreditation in the previous module. Uh, and that's where we think about ethics in a, in a new way, no longer as an either or problem or as, a, as, as an issue to be resolved or decision to be taken or a boundary to be upheld, but we try to look at ethics much more as a journey, the way you were talking about it. So I'm really moved to hear that played back to me in the, in the way it was in, intended. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's there. Yeah. And, and that unfinished sort of piece is, is the delight. And I think the, the, the whole Ashridge kind of journey is being able to be held in that space of vulnerability and that unfinished, uncompleted sense. Yeah because yep. it, it provides so many more opportunities of discovery. Whereas if you feel you've, you've got it, you stop your ability to be sensitive to the, to the emergent needs that are present within yep. the client or the system, etc. Fantastic, Well, thank you. So at your accreditation, uh, we told everybody beforehand that they had passed. You'd already done the modules, done the written work, done the inquiry and so on, that you'd passed. And this was an opportunity to show, show yourself. How did that land with you? Yes, I think it, it was quite natural because, uh, as I've said before, there was never any real competition, I don't think, or any sense that we were, um, you know, that clearly there are very high standards at Ashridge. There is a book we're given, you know, at the beginning of the course with all the you know standards and so, so so it's very rigorous from that perspective but at no point do i feel that i am being um you know under review you know it's 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 the the, the learning is very experiential it's very people-led uh i really felt the focus was about me as an individual right rather than about passing something. 
And so it's like an organic It's very organic growth rather yes. than jumping through hoops. I really felt the whole all of the faculty were actually helping me you, you know uh, achieve. So there was a lot of support. Uh, so therefore, the, again, the, the certification was a nice um, roundup of the the program, and I really felt I could take a risk with my octopus, with octopus. metaphor, yes. which is not, you know, <laughs> something as straightforward. Uh, so, so yes, so so that landed very well to me. It was very uh, organic uh, how we got there, and you know, it was a very successful day. Brilliant. Good. Thank you. I know some of you from your uh, cohort are going on to get the EMCC Global Supervision Accreditation. So one of the reasons for me to join Ashridge was because it would lead to a recognition from the EMCC Global. It's a very straightforward process to get the EMCCC Global Certification. Oh, good. Good. That's good to hear. Thank you, Laura. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. I enjoyed that.